WTA CTV 23 and presenting You Don't Know Jack The Lost Gold. Hey guys, Adam here. Check the recording. Okay, by the way. This is the seventh and final game of You Don't Know Jack 6 The Lost Gold. This is going to be the last gameplay I'm going to do for 2013. The episodes will be continued on January 5th, 2014, if I got it right. Arr, ahoy there! Drop anchor and come aboard! Alright, so uh, how many players do we have? One. Got a new mate? You. And my kids have an so Okay, you so be in a hurry. So Great. Now get up there and grab me some loot. Just like your last voyage. Me freedom be at stake here. Freedom? Be gone. Freedom's gonna be next year, Captain. It will. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. Just me and you this time around, huh? Hey, what does that say that nobody else wanted to hang out with you? Damn, what does it say about me? All right, let's do it. Tell me which category you want. Hey, I know. How about very interesting? How does four thousand dollars sound? All right, I think it's time for a little fruity addition. Blackberry plus raspberry equals what? Parkleberry, huckleberry, poisonberry, or gooseberry? Add the of the word, then you added it. They added it. I know. You know, I always wondered what the heck boysenberry yogurt was made of. Now I know. <laughs> and just because boysenberries may be a bit fruity, there's no reason to laugh at them. Go ahead, pick a category. Nature is one big toy. Snoozy Travers back boy. Well, if it isn't my old friend, nature is one big toilet. Four thousand bucks if you get this. Brace yourself, this might sting a little. Which of our nation's glorious natural wonders would make the best bidet for a bear? The Everglades, Echo Lake, Old Faithful, or Niagara Falls? <laughs> shoots water straight up in the air there just like a bidet so a wild animal might ought to use it to clean those tough to reach places <laughs> which certainly answers that question yes bears do in the woods pick a category you know we can stick the all my day cd always cost 12 dollars I'm calling this one. In my day, CDs only cost twelve dollars. This one can get you four grand. Another four grand. Yes, we've all heard of the old conundrum: which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, which came first, MTV or Britney Spears? MTV by about four months. Britney by about six months. MTV by about three years, or Britney by about four years. Both MTV and Britney debuted in 1981. MTV on August 1st, Britney on December 2nd. <laughs> well, some people would say that an appearance by Britney in her birthday suit would beat out a video by the Buggles any day. Time to make a choice. Give it out, sure, has card one, or slug your sandwich. Well, Could sweet you... mercy, guess uh -oh. what this is? It's time it's for time a... for a... Take this much Let's see if you can make sense of this category. Let's give a shout out to Colonel Sanders. The starting amount for this one is $10,000. Okay, I'm going to show you a gibberish phrase. You figure out what it rhymes with and buzz in. The faster you move, the more cash you make. All right, take a look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what it rhymes with. Drumsticks fill. One holler, Stan. Oh, and like most other things in this game, just ignore the punctuation.
For your first clue, it's a TV character. Hmm, AKA Pablo? It's a TV character made of bionic parts. Oh, the bionic Pablo. I'll tell you what, he looks like more than a million bucks. This could do it. If you're done, hit the return key. Boy, there. six million dollars sure doesn't go as far as it used to, huh? I mean, for that kind of money today, you might be able to get a bionic kidney. Used. How about There's picking a category? Stop talking to your balls. The update does not include the update. Need it. Oh, my this category is stop talking to your balls. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. Okay, in the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks makes friends with a Wilson volleyball and calls it Wilson. I know, it's a movie, okay? If Tom Hanks' character were to look for other brand name sporting equipment friends when he returned home, with which of these would he least likely become pals? Spalding, the emotional basketball. Dunlop, the pretentious tennis ball. Harrison, the funny soccer ball. Or Rawlings, the sarcastic baseball. They're all real balls, except Harrison. Yeah. Hey, but let me tell you Here something. In a castaway duck, situation, duck, duck. that Rawlings attitude gets really old really quick. Oh, is that your coconut? Oh, I don't need to eat. Stupid baseball. Go ahead, and pick one of these. Never pick up a hunter or an average. Gee, you're on the Here's a little something I call... Never pick up a hitchhiker wearing an eye patch. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Hey, now, you've heard that Bob Dylan lyric about how many roads a man has to walk before you can call him a man, right? Well, tell me, how many miles must a man walk before you could call him a man who has walked a nautical mile? 0 0.6 miles, 0 0.87 miles, 1.15 miles, or 2.1 miles? 1.15 miles is a nautical mile. Yeah! And as pirates always say, you can't judge a man until you've walked a nautical mile in his shoes, with a peg leg and a parrot on your shoulder. They go on to say, Arr! Now before we get to the jack attack, this is the last video for, gla for the lost gold. Episodes will be continued in 2014, I swear. Anyway, let's get to the jack attack. Time to select a category. Ain't that right, Frank? I think I'm gonna drop on my head. Here well, you go. made it to the jack attack. Well, all right then. Okay. Let's get to it. Now Try this on. clue. I think I felt a drop on my head. Don't worry about it. That's just God drooling on you. done a better job myself. Of course, I would never play by myself because I have better things to do with my time. Now listen, I wouldn't say this to you if I didn't mean it. You don't know Jack! We're, we're too... 
are two temps way there. See you next time. This has been a WTAC TV 23 production in association with...